You may see a lot of them this time of year We're talking about monarch butterflies, but did you know they are on the decline? And it's all because of their habitat is on the decline. Tasha Veltkamp, the owner of Wings Enchantment Butterfly Farm, is here to talk. Butterfly Farm is here to talk about the Monarch Butterflies, a great event that's going on this weekend as well. Tasha, good morning. Good morning. Okay, first of all, we talk about Monarch Butterflies. Why are they important and why are they on the decline? Well, they're pollinators for us, so they help us with our own food. And the biggest problem with their decline is habitat loss. And I just posted an article to my Facebook page last night about big agriculture and how the surrounding parts of the farm are, are increasing in agriculture, so it's decreasing the milkweed, which is what the monarch caterpillars need in order to become butterflies. Okay, so what did you bring here? By the way, you can get a link to her Facebook page on our website at casa.com. You brought a bunch of monarch but butterflies. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I've got monarchs and I have a couple other different ones in there as well. All butterflies are pollinators for us. So even though monarchs are on the decline, they're amazing because they do a migration both directions, north and south. Kind of like geese? Kind of like. Okay. Yeah. So. so when you talk about pollination, how does that affect us and, and maybe our food and what else? Well, a lot of our food starts out as flowers, and if we don't have those flowers pollinated by the bees and the butterflies, we don't have those fruits and vegetables. Oh, okay, what do you all have going on at the Butterfly Habitat Conservation this Saturday? This Saturday we're celebrating BEAD, which stands for Butterfly Education and Awareness Day. And we are going to have a walkthrough display so people can come and interact and feed the butterflies. And we will have information about host and nectar plants. Host plants are what the caterpillars need. Okay. Caterpillars can't become butterflies without host plants. Interesting. So you talk about feeding butterflies. Will they will they eat out of your hand? We actually have, we call them, well, they're Q-tips. We call okay. them nectar sticks. Gotcha. And you put nectar on that and you can feed the butterfly. And you hold it out and mm -hmm. the butterfly will flower it up to you and Sometimes eat the nectar off. they will, but we can also just kind of pick them up with that. Okay. Very yeah. cool. The other really cool thing you have, the winds here blowing everything away, is you have uh, butterfly kits that people can buy for just 10 bucks. Yep, that's all they are. It's four to five caterpillars and they're painted lady butterflies. And they will take about two to three-ish weeks, depending on the size of the caterpillar, to become butterflies. Okay, so you buy this, great for moms and dads and kids, and you don't really have to do anything with it, almost like fish. You don't even have to feed them though, right? It's a great pet because yeah. <laughs> it has all the food included right there, and you don't open the cup until they become their chrysalis and then you get to let them go when they become butterflies. Okay, and some of the ones you have right now, they'll become butterflies in as little time as a couple of weeks. Yes, okay. that's correct. So for more information on Tasha, the Butterfly Farm, and everything going on this weekend, you can head to our website at casa.com. Click on the Casa, the Casa blog. Tasha, thank you for bringing in the butterfly. These things are awesome. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right